Hi Lumen Lovelies, welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Mary and I give you an extra warm welcome. I would love it if you grabbed a snack, stayed for a while and click the subscribe button. I would love to have you. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you more than you know. So as you could tell by the title of the video, Today is another installment of my Pat McGrath eyeshadow palette series. Right now we are currently going through all of the six pan eyeshadow palettes that I own from Pat McGrath. And the next one is this one, which is the Pat McGrath and Bridgerton Mothership Diamond of the First Water Palette. I'm pretty sure this is the one that was released first before the second round. I could be wrong, but this is what we're using today. So let's go ahead and get started with this eye look. All right, my lovelies, as you can tell, face is already nice and done. I did film another video before this. I'm trying to pre-film because wedding is coming. Family's going to be here in two days. And I'm not gonna have any time really to film. Only thing I'm missing is I need to set my eyebrows and I need to put maybe a tiny bit more highlight because I did do the Westman Atelier um, liquid loaded drops under the powder. For everything else, I think this is what I'm going to be wearing for my wedding day, the KVD Serum Foundation. Although I do have on the Surratt Dew Drop Concealer, I don't think that's what I'm gonna wear for my wedding day. Um, powders, the Makeup Forever and the Dominique Cosmetics. Cream contour, I went in to the Fenty Beauty in Amber and the Vive Cream bronzer uh powder for powder bronzer i went in to the gucci and then for the powder blush i went in to the new chanel that i recently reviewed and for cream blush i went into the kevin aquan the new ones that he just came out with i think that's it oh for the lips i have on the natasha denona i need a nude lip liner in cleo and the refi beauty lip blush in orchid i forgot to <sighs> Hold. I'm gonna pry my eyes. Just hold one second, please. <laughs> okay, Anastasia Eye Primer. I wish it wasn't so light. In case you forgot what this beauty looks like. Very pink. Are we surprised? No, we're not. Um, it's a very pink palette. Unless you use that blue, it's gonna look like a very pink eye look. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. I think we're going... Maybe we should go simple today. Let's start with the pink shade here and i believe this one has like a special formula like a baked jolet kind of eyeshadow formula this is the bk beauty 201 and i'm going to put this in the crease okay now that i'm using it i'm pretty sure these two shades here even though they look matte they're like a baked jolet kind of formula but they also have a slight sheen to them so they're not a true matte like this one right here okay i think i'm going let's jump in into the brown this is a sonia g crease pro and this is going to go in the outer corner and i'm tapping first Okay, I think we're gonna leave it at that for the matte, matte shades. <laughs> now I'm going to jump into this one here and I did go in to my trusty NYX glitter blue. We're gonna pick this up with our finger and it's going to go right here next to that dark shade. This is like a metallic formula, but I do feel like it has a tiny bit more sparkle than a regular metallic. It's a beautiful, beautiful shade. Okay, and then now with my index finger, I'm going to jump in to the lightest shimmer metallic shade in the palette. This one has maybe like a holographic kind of shift to it. And it's like a peachy, I feel like it's a peachy, peachy tone to it. Okay, this is what we're looking like. Very soft, and in case you're thinking, that she's being a bright ass bee. No. I'm not. <laughs> We're about to dip into the blue shimmer. Okay, so I'm gonna spray my brush, MAC Fix Plus. This is the Natasha Denona Draw and Diffuse. I'm going to use the pencil side. Dipping into the pretty blue sparkly shade. 
and it's going to go in the inner corner. Now, if you're not comfortable putting shimmer in your inner corner, then just don't do this. All right, my lovelies, here is the full completed eye look. I feel like that blue really brought the eye look together, didn't it? It's like a simple but bold eye look. I feel like I've been doing that a lot lately. <laughs> So, so pretty. I feel like I didn't do too much when it came to the mattes. And yeah, I am I love it. I think it's beautiful. Definitely not an eye look that I would wear often, but it's very pretty. It's been a minute since I've used this Pat McGrath and Bridgerton palette. So if you own this, pull it out and create an eye look. I think out of the whole palette, my favorite shade is this one here. It's just such a pretty one. And even though it looks like not much on the pan, it looks just so pretty on the eyelid. The sparkles it has in there, they're kind of a surprise. Like you put it on, you're like, oh, okay. This is giving me a tiny bit more than I thought it was going to. So, so pretty. All right, well, that's going to be it for this video. I'm honestly just pre-filming because when my family's here, I'm not really going to be able to film too, too much. At least I don't want to. I want to spend time with my family. I haven't seen them in over a year, you know? Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're enjoying this series. I, like I keep saying, I'm having so much fun dipping into all of my Pat McGrath palettes and I'm remembering all the different color stories, all the different formulas, just everything. Um, I definitely feel like the last time I picked this palette up, my skills as far as eyeshadow application goes have improved, so. I'm really digging this eye look. Okay, well, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate every single one of you. You have no idea all the comments, all the likes. If you use my links to shop, it truly does mean the world to me. So with that being said, don't forget to give the video a big old thumbs up and also don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. And I will see you all on the next video. Bye.